Good afternoon, it's Tom Christie back in the painting studio and we're working on a hen canvas back hunting decoy, painting that decoy. So in session one, we got the base colors put on the bird. In this session, session two, we'll finish the hen canvas back decoy. Hey, if you value the content I'm putting together, I really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. That helps me out a great deal. So let's get busy and let's finish up this canvas back. Now I'm going to use some of that off-white and a little eighth inch scrubber and begin to lightly scrub on this characteristic white mark around the eye of the hen canvas back. Don't want this to be too harsh. So that's why I'm using a scrubber rather than a detail brush. I want a nice soft look around this eye area and then tailing off behind. Now I'm using some of that original face base color with a little bit of white added to it. And I'm going to put a scrub on a subtle highlight behind the bill here. Again, not going overboard, but just a nice soft transition from the front of the cheek back. And then fading that out as you go back by lightening the pressure on the brush. Okay, I want to, I've got my chalk pencil out and I want to put a just a few indications of some feather structure here. Before we work on the vermiculation. So a few going in that dire direction and then a few coming up in this direction. The difference will be these are going to be lighter value than the side pocket. These are going to be a little darker than this value. Just right along that side pocket just indicate there are some feathers there to create interest and to project from a distance a little better. So I've got a touch of white added to this side pocket color and I've got a little chisel shaped brush, pretty dry brush, but wet enough to dive down between the, um, the combing sections and give us a highlight. I'm gonna make it light at the back and then fade it out as it goes toward the front by just lightening the pressure. I'm not going to work the whole side pocket and try to put all kinds of feathers on this gunning decoy, but I think this will add a little bit of uh, pizzazz and it's simple to do. Get a shot of that. That's about all I want to do before we go back and start dry brushing the combing to pick up that vermiculation. Now I've got a little burnt umber added to the base color and I'm going in and highlighting the edges of these just an indication of some feathers up here. And as that dries, if it's getting too dark, then I'll come back with a little of the base color on the brush and blend it back in. And 
You've probably gone too far there, but I'll darken some of those edges up again. And again, we're going for a nice soft blend. Get a little more burnt umber on there. I'll keep working back and forth on that to soften things up, but let me give you a quick shot of, of that. It looks pretty harsh right now, so I'm going to soften that up a bit. I'll take it outside, see how it projects from a distance. That's critical. And then I'm going to leave the rest of this the way it is, so just along the side pocket. Taking a little of the original body base color on this chisel scrubber and going back in and lightening just the base of some of these feathers. And then I'll blend that out as we go back. Just to put a little contrast between the, the light and the dark there and a little definition. And then we'll be ready to do the vermiculation. Give you a quick look at that. I'll continue to soften things a little bit, but when we uh, pull through the vermiculation, it's also going to blend some of that highlighting it a little bit. Just took the decoy outside to see it in natural sunlight, and I really recommend that. Uh, it may be hard to see in the video, but I'm looking at those upper. Uh, feathers they look a little harsh so I'll probably soften those a bit again and I also like to look in sun and also in shade to see how the decoy projects in both lighting conditions All right, I softened those up a little bit and I'm happier with that. Let's get away from the bird. So you can see, you can just see an indication there of some feathers and that's what I want. All right, let's do the vermiculation. All right, I've got a nice flat, like one inch, three quarter inch wide brush. I'm gonna use burnt umber, lightened a bit with nimbus gray, and then wipe off that mix and get a nice flat brush and begin pulling it across the combed vermiculation and pick up the tops of all of those peaks in the combing Hopefully you can see that in the video. And I'm combing right, or I'm uh, pulling right over these highlights that I already put in place. And you can see that has the tendency, I hope you can see, to kind of further soften the look of that. But we're getting a nice vermiculated look to the bird very quickly with the combing. I have other videos on combing. You might want to check those out. So I'm not going into too much detail here, but loading of the brush is critical. You can't, if you get too much paint on the brush, you're going to start to glob and, and leave paint down in the valleys, which you don't want to do. You just want to pick up the highlights and it's a really effective technique to simulate vermiculation on a live bird. I'm going to darken this mix a little bit as I get closer to the tertials back here. Uh, we don't want to go overboard, but a little bit of a darker value on top of this dark that I already put back here so that that vermiculation shows up as well. So I'm going to go over the entire bird with this mix, just kind of hit 
it's not like a mallard drake where there's vermiculation everywhere on a hen canvas back the vermiculation is a little bit spotty um, so i'm going to pull through in some areas lightly and not go overboard but hopefully you can see that and i'll go ahead and finish this up and then come back and show you what it looks like like i mentioned i'm using a little more burnt umber on the brush on these tertials and darkening that area up a little bit and then blending that out as you go forward Now I'm, I've got a little Nimbus Gray uh, warmed up just a touch with raw sienna and I want to go in here and define where these tertials lie. Not too much detail but just a few brush strokes to define that feather group. Same over here. And then this next tertial up, both sides. Then I'm just going to take a little burned umber and add a feather quill. And since this is going over combed vermiculation, may take a couple of shots to make sure you get paint down in the valleys. Just a single stroke to define those quills. Just put a little bit of detail back there, enough to convey feathers. Now I want to put a little more life in the head. The face is just kind of flat uh, and I've got a lighter mix of the face value warmed up a little bit with raw sienna and I've got a little scrub brush and I'm going to go in here and just put a little bit of a highlight on the cheek and blend that out as I go down And do that on both sides. I'll keep working on that, but you can see it just gives it a little bit of pop. And that's going to project from a distance a little more than just the one value on the face. I may put a little highlight here. I'm going to work this highlight up here to soften it a little bit too much and then I'm going to use the same brush and just put a little bit of highlight on the cheek there tends to be some lighter colored feathers on the face in the cheek area that'll just help convey life I just added, as a final touch, a little burnt umber to this face color mix to darken it a little bit and put a little bit of a darker value down below. For the bill, I'm using burnt umber with a touch of carbon black and a touch of nimbus gray. It's kind of a very, very dark brown shade, gray brown as opposed to a jet black color. I'm just using a, a filbert so that I get a nice smooth paint job. Try to minimize brush strokes. 
Now I've got a little raw sienna combined with the face value. And I've got a little scrub, a little quarter inch chisel scrubber. I'm just going to lightly scrub in a little bit of a lighter edge on the bill here. Kind of characteristic of the in can. Don't want it to be too light, just, just enough to be a highlight there. Now I'm taking some of the original breast color mix and just going in and adding some uh, feather tips so that we can break this hard line up a bit, just a little bit. Then I'm going to do the same thing around the neck. Now I'm taking the original breast color and I added a little raw sienna to it. And I'm using this little chisel shaped scrubber and I'm just going in pretty loosely and putting in some indications of feathers. Don't want to leave those hard edged. So we'll just work on this a little bit and blend those out, make them fade away as they go up towards the neck. Just an indication here of some feathers in the breast area to add interest and also project from a distance. Now I'm doing the same thing in this area. Not many, just a few indications of feathers. Just a highlight or two to break things up a little. That's too light. If you overdo this, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb from a distance. So it's a subtle highlight, but that's all you need. I want to warm this face up just a touch. So I'm using a wash of gold oxide with raw sienna and just putting a thin wash over everything that I've already done. I've noticed hen canvas backs tend to have a little bit of a, not orange, but a little bit of a glow to them. So I'm going to make this final color adjustment and again it just warms the face up a bit and I think gets closer to the color that I'm looking for. Another quick check outside. This is in bright sunlight. It's kind of the shadow side. I may soften up those side pocket highlights a little bit. Let's check in the shade. The shot in the shade. I may darken the head just slightly, but I think everything looks pretty good. I did darken the head just a shade. And uh, taking a look outside again. in the shade, bright sun, I did soften those uh, side pocket highlights a bit too and I like that better in the shady 
inside. All right, we're going to call that a wrap on the painting of the hen canvas back gunning decoy. And from beginning to end, that was about uh, five hours since I began filming. And that includes lunch and the outside trips to take a look at how the decoy is projecting outside, which I think is critical. And uh, the last trip outside, I made one more adjustment. The ends of the speculum here, I had painted hard white lines. From a distance, they just drew your attention, not in a good way. So I did soften those after the, the final trip outside. But I would encourage you, if you can, uh, take your decoy outside periodically, see what it looks like under natural lighting conditions. Because if you're gonna compete, that is where the judges are gonna look at your bird, uh, unless it's an inside, in the tank type of contest. I really enjoyed painting this uh, decoy with you. I hope it's helpful. I hope you can apply some of these techniques to your own canvas back projects. And until next time, Tom Christie signing off. Good carving to all of you.